Hello ladies, welcome to training class two and it's all the behind the scenes of how to get your party set up and um, what to do before, during and after the party. And so of course you're gonna come live to one of the events so you can see a skincare party or color party done, but this is gonna be all a behind the scene things about what to do to make um, your party super successful. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll talk about hostess packets and you can put your hostess packet in anything that you would like to put your hostess packet in. So. I happen to have a little Mary Kay folder here. I got an MK Connections. Um, it doesn't have to be those. They're kind of pricey. You can use any type of folder that you get from a dollar store or Walmart or whatever. Um, I've even put them in the Mary Kay large delivery bags. I've had some consultants that are very crafty and creative put them in gift bags and make it look really cute because it doesn't um, get lost in the shuffle of all the other mail that they have. It stands upright. I have one girlfriend who puts them in the large gallon size Ziploc bag so they can see everything through it. So really just your container really should represent you. And keep in mind after you finish this training class in order to get credit, you're going to message me and we're going to set up a time to talk about what you've learned. That way you can get credit and I want to answer any questions you have. So make sure you have note paper with you and you can take notes and write down any questions you have as we go along. So hostess packets, that's going to be your outside. Inside, um, let's see what we're going to put in there. First thing you want to do is you want to put some sales tickets so they can get outside orders. Now you um, can also, there's a sheet on our website under this training class two and there's a it's pre-class sales sheet so you can print off just one sheet and have them take orders on that if you prefer or you can give them some sales ticket whatever is easier for you and of course you're going to give them one to two um, copies of the current lookbook whatever that is and of course this is an older one but um, whatever is current you're going to give them that and just kind of explain to them how to take orders and of course we don't have shipping and handling but depending on what state you live in you'll need to remind them of the sales tax so that's going to be the first thing. Then I'm going to put in there what their hostess promo is. Now, of course, we have lots of different hostess promos that you can pick from. Um, the one that I'm using right now is this one right here. And it's super, super simple because it's depending on what their sales are. Of course, you can see this up close and personal um, if you print it off the website. But depending on what their sales are, it depends on how much they're going to get for free. So if they have let's say a $500 party with no bookings, then they're gonna get 10% of the sales in free product, which is $50. Now, if they, if you give them $50 in free product, how much does that cost you? Right, 25. So you wanna keep in mind, they don't need to know that, they don't even really care. They just wanna know how much they're getting free. So you can see how it doesn't cost you that much to um, benefit your hostess. Now, I will tell you this, if there's any place in your business that you want to invest money, it's always gonna be in your hostess because she is gonna be the one who opens up our home and puts a ton of new people in front of you. Without parties, you will not grow your Mary Kay business. And so she is the lifeline to that growth. So all hostesses should be treated like royalty and have really, really great hostess promotions. But what I do when I'm talking to them is I let them know that when they have two bookings, two women at their party that schedule their own Mary Kay get together, their free product is gonna double. Because look at this, when they have a $500 party, can you see that? $500 party with two bookings, they're gonna get hundred dollars in free Mary Kay so that's exciting to them and I say that always in my welcome and I'm talking to them about ahead of that ahead of time so they know that we're looking to have two women book their own Mary Kay get together so their free product can double now of course what I do after that is whatever they and I just tell them this like I don't have anything specifically written up or anything but after um, everything is said and done if they want more things than what they're actually getting for free then I let them shop shop at half price whatever they want at half price. So that's gonna be one hostess program. That's what I'm using um, for right now, all 2017. We're gonna go right into that. Um, there is the 200 for free to party with me, which I use for two years, all of, all of oh gosh, 2014 to 2016. I held a lot of parties with this. And so it's just where they get different amounts for, um, different amounts of free product for doing different things. So $25 for providing their guest list of who's coming within 48 hours. Five or more women there, they'll get another $25 um, when they when their guests are 21 years or older. $25 when they have $225 or more in sales. $25 when they get two bookings. And then $100 in um, free product when they get outside orders of $100 or more. And so I know that might sound like a lot of product, but really the outside orders is kind of covering it 
them itself because she is collecting $100 in outside orders and the majority of them will collect more than $100 in outside orders. But if she's collecting $100 in outside orders, you will have $100 in your hand. So you can purchase, um, you can take 50 of it to purchase the product that she has sold to people and then you can take the other 50 to give her her free product. The, why, the reason why I've used that for so long and I loved it because saying 200 for free is so super impressive and if they can sell $100 and not have any training, then it makes total sense to them why they could join your team and be a consultant. So there's lots of different um, theories. There's also a $100 flyer on our website. You can pick whatever one you want, and that's something that I want to talk to you about individually um, when we get together and um, after this phone call. So we'll talk about that some more as to exactly which one you're going to use. Um, the other thing I put in there is invitations. Now, invitations are so different now than they used to be. You need to talk to your, your hostess about how she's going to invite. Um, is she going to do Facebook? Is she going to do texting? Is she going to do paper postcards or whatever? And so I asked her that on the front end and I dropped my postcard. So hold on. Okay. I'm back. Um, so these are some of the postcards. I find that a lot of my women will do some kind of technology type of invite, texting or Facebook or whatever. But a lot of times they'll want just a few postcards for those people that might not be real tech savvy or don't check those kind of things or whatever. So I just ask them um, if they need postcard invitations and if they do about how many they need because there's no sense in giving them a stack of 20 if they're going to use five. So I always ask them. And then I love these postcards. They have different print. You can get them. Um, it's the company that I use for all of our postcards. It's pinkprinting.com. Pinkprinting.com. And you can get them for 5 or $6 a pack. And they're really cute. And all you have to do is give them to the hostess and she can fill out the information. So that's kind of what... I put in the hostess packet. The key is definitely going to be when you give her that hostess packet, coaching um, her through it. So making sure she realizes um, what's in there, what her hostess benefits are, give her some tips on you know how to get people there, letting her know that she's probably going to have to invite 20 to get five, um, maybe even more. I'm not sure because you want to give her that on the front end. You don't want her to feel rejected or what have you if she invites five people and all five don't come. Um, it's kind of amazing to me that some women really think that's what you invite to have five people come, but you have to over invite. Um, if they are doing a Facebook invitation, then I do that for them. I create it for them. That way it can have a really cute picture on the back um, for the banner. And then I can do the wording that I want. I can send them to my website. All those kind of things that she wouldn't know. And then of course I just make her a host of that. If that's something that you're not sure how to do, please make a note to talk to me about that after you watch this video because that's going to be really crucial. I love being the one that creates that because you're in full control of what the people see as well as you get notifications every time someone um, RSVPs to the party. So a huge part of that. Um, if it's a text message, I make sure I have the text written up to text to them so they can just forward it out to their people. It's very important that wording is correct and so they're not the Mary Kay professional you are. So if you need help with wording, please let me know. There's scripts on our website as well under this training class. So um, the and the final thing that I do with her is I let her know about food, which there's no paper in there that says anything. Um, the reason why there's not a paper is because I want to make sure she hears the words. Um, I want to let her know that I love having food, I love having drink, and, and that's all awesome. Because some women are really into that, some women aren't. Um, but either way, I want to let them know that they can have drinks when we start the party, whatever they're going to serve. But any kind of food, I always ask that they keep it till I'm finished my part for a couple reasons. One, we're doing lotions and um, you know, cleansers and all kind of things. And it's really gross to have your hands in cleanser and food at the same time. So that's the first thing. And if they realize it's gross, then what will happen is if all that food goes out first, then they're going to eat the food first and you're going to be delayed an hour or so um, even getting to start your party. So that's going to be really important. And I know sometimes that's, you know, not everyone um, is comfortable talking about that, but I just let her know. I say, in my experience, what I've found is it's best to keep the food till after. That way we can start on time. If anyone has to leave early, that's, you know, it'll, it'll get us right to where we need to be. And then plus when I'm closing out each individual guest, they'll have something to do. Because if they've already eaten and you're done, then there's no reason for them to hang around. You're going to miss sales. So just trust me on that. You absolutely want to coach your hostess. And with my hostess packets, 
I take them with me to appointments. I take them with me to anything that I'm doing when I'm selling product because when I'm booking someone, then I can give it to them right then and there on the spot. There's just something about that ownership of taking it right then and there. If you have to catch up with her, I mean, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm just saying that it's less likely. So it's always important to have at least three hostess pack, three to four hostess packets with you at every single party. That way you can give them out, go through it immediately at her individual clothes, set the date, have everything that you need prepared. So um, I think that's really everything on um, the hostess packet. I will talk to you. Let's talk about, um, well, I did already talk to you a little bit about coaching. I want to make sure I talk... Um, Okay, so the other thing is, is for some reason, um, well, you know, before you even get to that, let's talk about coaching your guests. Okay, this is really important. This is a concept that I tried to skip as a new consultant. It did not work well for me, and now it's one of my absolute strengths in the business. And what it is, is you're going to get a list of who's coming to the party. Um, I like to absolutely have that list no later than three days before the party. Now, if you're all doing Facebook, you kind of see who's coming because you get the notifications and all that type of thing. But um, I still reach out to her and say, you know, hey, I know we're both on the Facebook invitation, but it's what I'm seeing is that kind of an accurate um, group of who you think is coming. And so we go from there. But what I do is I will send a text message or a phone call if you prefer, either way. Um, and all of these scripts are right on our Facebook page. So you can literally type it one time, copy and paste or leave your messages, whatever you want to do. But I contact each person one to two days before the party. Um, I don't like to do it too far out simply because they'll forget about it. So I like to do it right, really close to the appointment. So whatever your schedule, I mean, you could do it three days before if you wanted to. To me, that's just a little far, so a day or two is all I need. And what I do is you'll see it on the scripts. I just simply send them a text message um, introducing myself, saying, hey, I'm Mindy with Mary Kay. I'm going to be doing Susie's party on Friday night. Do you have a couple questions? Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions so that I'm prepared with the things that I'll need? And they usually always say yes. And when they say yes, then I usually just ask them, um, you know, are they normal to dry combination of oily? Is there anything that can change about their skin? Um... And are they currently using Mary Kay products? And we just kind of go back from there. So I keep it very, very general. At the end, I let them know, we're going to get started right at 6.30 because I promise we're not going to take your whole night. I don't want them to think they're going to rearrange their life. And also, I don't want them to be late because I want to get started on time. So coaching is super, super important. And sometimes your hostess don't understand why you would do that. So you have to explain it to them. Communication is always, always the key. So I just let them know I'm going to send a quick text message or I'm going to call your people super quick. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them their skin type. So that way I know if they're normal to dry, combination of oily, and if there's anything like to change about their skin. And then, of course, I also have a script for color parties. And that's also going to be on our website. You can find that there. A um, little bit different questions um, because it's a color party. But either way, you get the idea. And it's super important. You have to promise me you will not skip this step, skip this step because if you do... You're going to have a lot lower attendance at your parties and people are going to be um, a lot later. So just trust me on it. Do it from the jump start. So um, the other thing is if for some reason, okay, a, a rescheduling happens, try to keep it together. Um, you know, it can be very devastating for a consultant um, when a party reschedules, especially if you've got your date book and you're prepared and you're ready to go. But the thing is, they can know if you're genuine or not. And so I want you just to remove the emotion from it for, um, for just a minute. Think about how many times you've had to reschedule a hair appointment or a doctor's appointment or different things. And so it wasn't that you didn't want to get your hair done. It wasn't that you didn't want to go to the doctor's appointment. It was simply that life happened and something came up. So what you need to do is generally be okay with it and try to reschedule a date immediately when you're talking to them. Um, you know, just, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I totally understand. You know, would next Thursday be better for you? Um, you need to be in that control of that because the reason that she canceled is probably going to cause her a distraction. And so she very easily may forget to get back to you with a date or whatever. So you're the one that's in control of that. If it's like a crazy situation where it would just be totally inappropriate for you to ask her to reschedule right at that point, then what I would do is I would simply just let her know, know say, oh my goodness, I totally understand. I, uh, you know, believe in that everything's going to be okay. Praying for you. Really pray for people when you say that, by the way. Um, 
and then is it okay if I get in touch with you next week to, to reschedule this? That way you're still leaving the door open and um, she's going to be expecting to hear from you, okay? Um, so that's going to be really important. Have a great attitude. Um, the other thing I do is I always friend request my hostesses on Facebook. If I'm not, you know, one year I have to do that if you're going to create an invitation for them. But I also want them to see my life. I want them to see me. I want them to, um, you know, connect a little bit. So I try to do that. You know, I'll do that with the guests as well if I can. Um, the more people that I'm friends with to see my life, I think that um, we have a lot to show people. Um, it's going to tie them closer to you. So I always try to do that. Now, when you're preparing for your skincare parties, um, we have some different skincare lines. And so one is gonna be our Time Wise or Parent. So I just wanna make sure that you're fully aware of the different skincare lines and what they're for. Time Wise Repair is going to be for anyone in their mid 40s and above. Women that really, really, really want to do some repair work to their skin. Okay, and I have had some younger girls that have used it in the past just because it was available to them, and that's totally fine. But for you as a gauge, you're going to want to try to, you know, if they're in their mid 40s to above, repair is going to be the way that you go. Now, your regular Time Wise line, which would be your Miracle Set, that's going to be the majority of your customers. That's going to be anyone that's in their 20s on up to that mid 40s range, okay? So that's what you, and of course, there's two formulas of that there's normal to dry and combination oily. In your Time Wise Repair, there's only one formula. But in the regular um, Miracle Set line, there's two formulas. So that's going to be for them. Clear Proof is going to be for anyone of any age. Um, that has any type of acne, so or has really oily skin, and you know I sometimes create a skincare cocktail. Like if they're in that 20 to mid um, 40 range, but yet they're still really oily, maybe not so much breakouts, but just really oily. I'll take the toner from the Clear Proof line and add it to their their Miracle set. It just kind of helps them a little bit um, deal with the extra oil. So those are some things we can talk about too. Like if you have someone that has some problem skin or problem situation. Um, you know, not everyone's skin is cookie cutter. So sometimes we do have to adjust some things. But on a whole, this is going to be the rule of thumb. So that's what clear proof is going to be. And then the botanical line is going to be for anyone who is not concerned with age fighting. So I'm definitely going to say younger skin, early 20s and younger. Um, women that have severe allergy to products because it is, it's not 100% natural, but it is definitely uh, more of a botanical baseline than our other skincare. So I do a lot with um, with the younger girls, like the moms that are already using TimeWise or TimeWise Repair. The botanical lines is a line is a great um, suggestion for their daughters. So that's going to be, and again, you can use pieces of that to you know because none of our other um, lines really have like a mask or anything. So there are masks that goes with that. So you can kind of plug that in wherever it's necessary. So those are our skincare lines. And I do use different ones at different parties depending on what my group is like. Okay. So you know about those now. When I go to set up for my party, I do arrive to the, the hostess's house probably about 30 minutes early. I highly recommend if you're you're a new consultant, which you probably are if you watched in this video, that you arrive at, you know, earlier than that. 30 minutes is me of having lots of years of getting my systems down and I can really get um, that party set up super quickly. But if you're new, you might take a little bit more time. So an hour, 45 minutes to an hour would probably be good for you. And what I do is I go ahead and set up everything in their tray ahead of time. I squirt everything in their trays. That way, because I've already talked to them, so I know if they're combination oily, I know if they're normal to dry. I take their profile card, I sit it in front of their tray, their mirror and tray, Put their name on it that way they can finish filling it out um, they know exactly where they're sitting of course you can move them around if you have to but that's kind of how I handle that it takes so much less time than trying to score everything in those trays when they get there you absolutely don't want to do that um, I'll, the other thing I'll do is have my hostess be my helper I will have her I will teach her how to do um, satin hands and so as I'm matching up everyone's foundation, then she can simply do the satin hands with them as we're waiting. Um, it's usually very, very simple, and I just kind of have her, her do that. And so it doesn't matter what kind of foundations you have, the liquid foundations, the minerals. Sometimes I use CC cream. It just depends on what season we're in and what's going on. But um, I do try to match everyone and put get that together while they're, getting, um, while they're coming in. I always like to write on the back of their profile card which foundation, I, what kind I used, and what shade I selected. That way, um, when I get to the end of the party, I won't be like, oh my gosh, totally have no idea. Because you will get so busy doing so many other things, then you're going to totally forget what you put on them. So just do yourself a favor and write that on the back of the sheet. 
Um, and that's really everything I do to get prepared. Um, I'll start my welcome and um, I just look for my sheet here. I thought I grabbed it. Oh, no. Hold on one second. I'm coming. Okay. Right back. Sorry about that. Um, so when I start, I always start by thanking um, the hostess for hosting the party. And I try to give her like a little gift. It really doesn't matter what it is. Maybe a hand cream, a lip gloss, something like that. Um, but it's just wrapped really cute because women love cute wrapping. And so it doesn't really matter what's in there. It just matters that it's cute. And everyone's going to, that's going to be your first um kind of seed your planning to get them to book a party with you. They're like, oh, Susie got a gift for just doing nothing, right? So um, so that's the first thing. And then I just tell them, you know, I just kind of introduce myself. Um, a lot of times I'll go around and have them, you know, say how they know Susie the hostess and, you know, whatever, just to kind of get it to be warm and fuzzy. And then I say, you know what, I have a little sheet um, I'd love for you to fill out because, you, you know, I don't know how much you know about Mary Kay, but I love to get women's feedback on what they know, and what's the word on the street out there. And as we do this sheet, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. And so that's when I use the did you know sheet. And so what I do is I give everyone a sheet and I'll say, and what we're going to do here is after we're finished, we're going to put them all um, I'm going to put them all together. I'm going to draw one. You're going to get five tickets because I always do tickets at my parties. I never bring individual gifts for anything. I do tickets because depending on the group, sometimes I'll need to like calm them down or I'll need to pull more excitement out of them or whatever. So I don't want to be limited to just, you know, two things I could give prizes for. I give tickets out throughout the whole party and that'll engage them more. And I still only have to give away two gifts. Okay. So get yourself a roll of tickets. But what I'll do is I'll read through this did you know sheet. I mean, seriously, I'll say only three, did you know? You're just going to circle yes or no. This is not rocket science. You don't have to worry about knowing everything. Only 3% of females in the U.S. make over 100000 a year. And of that 3%, 70% of women are in Mary Kay. Did you know that? Oh, my gosh. And you can say, I had no idea when I started that when I started this business, you know, however long you've been in or whatever. And then I'll talk about the cars. And if you've earned a car, then you can say, you know, I've, you know, I've had eight or nine cars or I want to earn a car or whatever. You weave your I story through the did you know sheet to keep them engaged. And so they're going to circle, circle, circle. Then they get down at the bottom. And you'll see this when you come to the party that we do live, you'll, or, you know, wherever you are, um, or if you're in another area where they don't use the did you know sheets, this is what we're going to talk about on our phone call after. But, um, you know, you're going to stay at the bottom on a scale of one to 10, you know, I know you didn't see me do anything in Mary Kay, but I just want to know from what you heard so far, would you ever consider getting more information on Mary Kay? One being like, I would never do Mary Kay, even if I was starving, like, oh my gosh, absolutely not. And I'll just say, I hope we've connected a little better than that. Or, you know, 10 being the best, absolutely sign me up today. How do I get that gorgeous black kit like you have? And no one picks the five because that's the chicken answer. That's kind of sitting on the fence and we're women. We know how to make decisions. So put a number, anything between one to 10, no fives. All right. And then just quickly fill out the bottom and then I'm going to collect them and I'll draw one. And we'll give tickets. So I do that with everybody. Now you always know your hostess is your best option for your team because she already thought enough to have you in her home. She invited her friends. She wouldn't do that if she didn't like the product and she didn't like you. So that's number one. But there's always going to be at least one other at the party that you can talk more about. It doesn't matter if they put a one on here, ladies. It doesn't matter if they put a three. And it doesn't matter if they put a ten. Follow-up is always going to be the key. So what you're going to do every single time you get done a party is you're going to snap a picture of this sucker and you are going to send it to me and I'm going to do some thank you follow-up calls for you, which I'll tell more about um, when we have our conversation. So... But that's going to be a really great way for you to add women to your team right from your parties. All right? Um, after that, then what I'll do is I'll say, you know what? Now, before we put the products on the face, what I want to do is I just want to tell you about all the amazing benefits that Susie's going to get for having this party. So first of all, she already got a little goodie. You saw that. Second of all, she's getting to um, spend some amazing pampering time with all of you ladies. And I know that you're a great group of women because I told her to only invite her fun friends. No Neggy Nellies. So if you know someone that's generally in the circle and you don't see her, here tonight. Don't mention it because she might be the EOR of the group. Okay. So anyway, and they're, they're chuckling, they're laughing, whatever. So, okay. This is our hostess program right now. 
I don't say for 2017 because I don't want them booking six months out. So say we're booking in January and I'm going to say this is our hostess promotion for January right now. It is so amazing. Depending on what your sales are, you're going to get free products. So Susie is super excited that you're here and she knows that you're going to order a ton because you're going to love this product just as much as she does. But when you get so excited and you want, you just want to load the whole car up with it and you need some free and we get two women, two women to book their own Mary Kay get together, her free product is going to double. Can you say that with me? Double. Just say. Just say. Double. And I just have fun with them. Like, I am super silly at these parts. Just say double. Let me, let me hear it. Double. You know? So we just kind of have fun. So I'll just say, listen, I don't know if you need to all put your keys in a bowl, what we need to do, but two of you are going to help your sister Susie out and book your own Mary Kay get together because she needs her product to double and you need your product. You need to get free product too. This is awesome. How often do you go into Kohl's and they, you know, they just give you free, like $100 in free stuff? I mean, I know there's cold cash, but it takes you a lot. You have to spend a lot to get $100 in free cold, cold cash, right? Okay. So I just kind of related to something that they already know. We kind of go from there. So that is, um, that's my Did You Know Sheets, my hostess program. The reason why I do that at the beginning is I want them to be thinking about that ahead of time. You're planning those seats. And I give tickets out for random things throughout the party. Of course, you know, if they wash their face, I have them hold up their washcloth and I do their dirty, whoever has the dirtiest face gets a ticket. Um, I'll give a ticket for whoever arrived first, whoever arrived last. I mean, unless they're like an hour late, then they've just, they're not even getting a ticket. Um, but for different things throughout, if they answer a question or if they give a testimony, lots of different things to give tickets for, but I want them to stay engaged with what we're doing. And they will do that for tickets. I'm just going to let you know that right now. Okay, then what we're going to do is I pulled out one of my sheets, okay? You know, these, these uh, it's all about you sheets. On the back, on the other side, there's questions. And what you're going to do is you're just going to read, everyone's going to get, you know, this is called the group close. After you're done everything that you're going to say, which is, you, you know, we're going to train you how to do a skincare party or color party, whatever it is. You're going to go through everything. And then what you're going to do is there's questions on the back of these sheets. And so you're going to just read them. And I always just, this is how I kind of um, transition into that after we're finished. I'm like, oh my gosh, you ladies look so great. How do you feel? It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at each other. You know, just kind of all those things. And I'll say, all right, before I let you go, because I know Susie's made some snacks and we're almost there. I just want to get some feedback on what we did tonight and what you think about the products that you tried. Because this is how we get better. So, you know, the questions on the back are like, you know, um, did you enjoy your pampering session tonight? Is there any other questions that you have? All these kind of things. And then there's one that says, if money were no object, which would you prefer? And of course, these are our options. Would you prefer the savvy shopper, the share the wealth, or my way? And you're going to explain those, um, you know, the savvy shopper, if you buy two sets, you're going to free, get a free gift with purchase, so make sure you take some free gifts with purchase with you. Or the share of the wealth, you buy three sets, and you're going to get a free travel roll-up bag. Or my way, you buy four sets, you get the fifth half off, and you're going to purchase five sets. So what I want you to do right now, just for fun, this is not obligating you to anything, just take your pen. This is yours. You're going to mark it all up. I just want you to circle all the sets that you like or that you have questions about. Okay? That's it. You know what? And I should have said this. This is what I do before I do that. So back up. I'm sorry. I forgot one little thing. What I do before, when I say money is no object, right at that point, before I have them circle, I do give them, I do go down. Okay, so if money were no object, let me tell you, we've got some specials going on tonight. I go down the sheet. Then I say, let me tell you about the sets today. And so this happens to be a color, color sheet. But I'll go down and say, okay, this is our time-wise line. And Susie and Sally, you use that with our day-night solution. When you put that together, that's our miracle set. And then this here, this is going to be our finishing set. So it has the primer and the foundation and the brush, the brush cleaner. So we use all those tonight. So this is our botanical line. No one used that tonight. So we don't even talk about that. This is our repair line. So, um, you know, Katie and Melanie, you guys use that. That's going to be the set that you use. And I go all the way through and I quickly just tell them about each one of the sets. And then I'll say, okay, now that you know what the sets are, what I want you to do is I want you to go through and circle each set. The ones that you like best, the ones that you have questions about. This doesn't obligate you to anything. This just lets us know what you, what, um, and me and Mary Kay know what you like best. Okay? Then we go back to the other side of the sheet and it talks about referrals. And what I say to them is if they are willing to refer at least five to ten women, they're going to get a free gift. And I usually play a little game, the name game. I say, okay, we're going to play a game, last opportunity for tickets. And what you're going to do, and I team them up. So if there's like six or eight of them, then I'll say, you know, you two together, you two together, you two together, you two together. And I'm going to give you one minute to see who can get the name, think of as many names as they possibly can. 
in one minute. And I just need first names, no last names, no phone numbers, nothing like that at this point. Just as many names on that paper as you can in one minute. Now, you can go further than the lines that are on there, okay? Don't worry about just those lines. Go around the corner if you need to, all over the side of the sheet, whatever you need to do. But get those names on there, okay? And I give them one minute. I say, okay, are you ready? And I give my phone out, and I set my timer, and it's like, you know, one minute. So, and while they're doing it, I usually talk to them. I'll say, okay, now let's, you know, don't forget about, you know, your neighbors, the people you go to church with, your in-laws, your outlaws. Um, if you if you have children, the parents of your children's friend, you know, all these things. I try to give them ideas. And then, you know, when, when the, I'll say 10 seconds left, five seconds left, and they're writing and they're writing. And then we get to the middle, I'll say, okay, stop. Everybody stop. And then what I'll do is I'll let's do a count up. And so... You know, sort of five, ten, and you're pairing them together. So you know, so with your neighbor, total of how many have? Okay, so who has at least ten? Who has at least fifteen? Who has at least twenty? And then whoever has the most, I give them more tickets. Okay, no big deal. So the beauty of that, you're gonna see what I do with those names in the individual clothes because this is a group setting. This is gonna be your group clothes. So after that, after we're all done, then what I do is I say, okay. So now, I, I promise you, Susie had some snacks and she's going to pull them up. She's been so amazing because she held them off to the end because I didn't want you to have lotions and stuff um, and with your food. And so you're going to be able to snack and then I'm going to come around to each one of you and help you out with any questions that you have or whatever your needs are um, individually because I want this to be very customized for you. So whoever has to leave first or has to go is in a hurry, just, you know, we'll, we'll take care of you first and then I'm going to come around and see everybody. And so that's when I do the individual clothes. And when I have them do the individual clothes, I already have the did you know sheet. So I just make sure that they have this sheet, they're all about you sheet, and then I have them bring me their profile card, okay? And you can do this right at the table. You can find a little bar area, a little off to the side, wherever you want to do. I don't like being in a totally separate room because I like to hear the conversation. I like to hear what's going on. Sometimes they have a question and they'll interrupt and, and do lots of different things. So that's what that's how I like to do it. So in the individual clothes, what I do is I very quickly glance at their it's all about you sheet. So I can kind of see what they circled and what they put and how many names they had on their sheet. And I'm talking, you gotta be a master of this, like you know, five seconds maybe. And I'll also find their did you know sheet and I'll put it with it so I have all of their things together for one customer. So that helps me know what her number was quickly because if she was like anything eight or above, I want to talk to her. I mean, maybe even a seven or above. I want to talk to her about the business opportunity right while I'm sitting there with her. I don't want to send her home if she's like, want more Mary, information on Mary Kay, starting Mary Kay business. So, um, you know, I just kind of have all that there and I, I just asked her a few questions. I just very girlfriend with her, you know, like I don't want to be stuffy. I want to be someone that she would be comfortable to be around. So I usually just say, you know, Hey Susie, did you have a good time tonight? She would usually always say, yeah, she, you know, but what was your favorite product that you tried? You know, just small talk. Um, did you have any questions? Anything we didn't go over tonight? Cause you know, it's absolutely impossible to go over every single product that we have in the Mary Kay line. It just is. So I ask her at that point, that's when we can go over some different things, you know, and go from there. Um, and then I would just say, well, you know, I saw that, you know, you circled a lot of sets here. And Mary Kay always taught us that, um, she's always said that women wanted two things at all. So, you know, I don't know your, you know your situation better than I. Um, were you prepared to start with everything that you circled tonight? Because that would put you in the My Way special tonight. So you would get one set half price and a free travel roll-up bag. And sometimes they're like, you know what? Yes, I need everything that you put on my face today. I just do. I need it all. And I'm like, oh, yes, I will get that for you. <laughs> um, but sometimes they're like, oh, I wish. Like my husband would kill me or I don't have the funds for that or whatever. And I would just, what I say to them I mean, obviously, if she wants it all, then we're just going to go right through to writing that up, you know? But if she needs to work through it, then I would just say, okay, well, just kind of tell me what your budget is. Let's start there. And I help narrow it down for her because you always want to start them with the skincare if you can. Whatever kind they're using, whether it be time-wise, time-wise repair, clear-proof botanicals, it, it doesn't matter. Their skin is never going to look the same unless they get really, really good skincare. So I always try to steer them that direction first. You can't always. Sometimes they just want to do satin hands and satin lips, and that's okay. 
you know, I mean, that's a great set. Um, but the more skincare you can sell, the better off you're going to be because it's going to provide a better reorder business for you. So I would definitely say try to steer them towards skincare. Sometimes, you know, and a lot of times, you know, so if you, you know, if they said, well, I can do, you know, like $100 or whatever. So I would say, well, you know what, it's totally up to you. But my suggestion out of what you had circled is I would start with the TimeWise Basic Set and the TimeWise Day and Night Solution because that would give you the most bang for your buck. Um, and it would prepare your skin to, for those other products that you wanted later. And then she might say, well, I really wanted the satin hands, the satin lips. And I'll say, well, it's totally up to you. Whatever you want to do. And a lot of times I'll just add that on. And um, I'll just say, well, you know what? You're going to get a, um, you're going to be able to get the roll-up bag at half price if you, if you go ahead and just add that third set. So it's talking, they don't even realize it sometimes. So it's just talking through it with them. Um, the other thing is sometimes they have no idea where to start. They might just be like, well, I don't know. I loved it all. I definitely can't afford it all. You know, where would be a good place to start? So you kind of work through these things with them, okay? It's your job to, one, sell a lot of product for the hostess because she's banking on that to get as much free product for her, but you don't want to sell them something that's not good for them. So you're really trying to make sure that it works best for everyone. But what you can't say, what you can't do is you can't put catalogs out on the table and sales tickets out on the table and expect to have a good party. Because we sell something that is completely specific and unique to each person. So you absolutely need to talk to each individual person. Okay? So that's going to be really good. You close at the sale. And then after that, a couple of things happen. So what I would say to her is, one, if she was not able to get everything that she wanted, then I would say, Susie, you know, you close out the sale, whatever she was able to get. Then you would say, Susie, I just want to go back to the back side of your sheet here for a minute. I know there was a lot of products, or even if it was just a few, things that you wanted but you weren't able to get tonight. You have a list of like 20 people or 10 people, whatever it is, on the back of the sheet. Do you think you could just get like five together? Because I know that if you just got five together, you would be able to get a ton of free Mary Kay. And then Susie, would, you'd be able to be count towards one of the ones that Susie needs to get her free product to double. Like I think that would be a win-win for both of you. How does that sound? And then when she says yes, then I break out my date book right then and there. And I narrow down dates for her. You always give them two choices. And so what I do is you just offer the choices that are best for you. So I ask them, what's best for you? Nights and weekends. And we talked a little bit about this yesterday with booking. Or I shouldn't say yesterday. In the previous um, training class. So you go back to giving her the two choices. And once she picks that, then I give her the hostess packet right then and there. And I explain it to her. The key is always asking every single person if they would be willing to schedule their own Mary Kay get together. To earn tons of free products. And help the hostess get her free product to double. Are you going to be the one, one of the ones to help Susie get her double product? Are you going to be one of the ones? And then once I get one, then I say, you know, Susie only needs one more to double her free product. Are you going to be it? Are you going to be the one? And that's how I talk to them. And I ask every single person. You will never have to ask anybody for anything or call anyone to do anything if you ask every single person at a party to book. I believe that you should leave every party with two. Now, you can leave a three or four if you ask if it's a really good party and you're asking multiple people. So I want you to think about that. Don't forget to do that piece. It's super, super important. If for some reason you leave that party and you do not book two parties, then I ask the hostess to rebook so, so it can double. And then I also ask... Um, I ask um, the hostess who she thinks would be most likely to get her free product, um, who I could ask that was at the party or didn't come to the party, if I could reach out to again to go ahead and book. But that is going to be absolutely crucial, 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 crucial to booking those appointments. If she says that she can't book a party, then I go back to those names and numbers and I'll say, you know what, if you go ahead and give me the last names and numbers of the people that you listed, for every 10 you're going to get a free gift. Or maybe you want to do a gift certificate or a coupon or whatever it is. That's kind of how I work that because I make sure that I give her benefit and I can go somewhere from this party. I want to have um, ways to connect to people from those parties, okay? So that's going to be really, really important. And finally, just if she, on the Did You Know sheet, if she's a high number, then I talk to her. You know, I tell her what's in the starter kit. I ask her if she has any more questions. Um, I let her know how this business has benefited me. And if she's, you know, I let her know it's $100 and we get you know, almost $500 worth of stuff. And if she's at all thinking about it, then I try to, you know, I just bring up in touch and I let her join right then and there. If she is kind of wavering, just say, you know what, I'd love to schedule an appointment, um, a time for you to connect with uh, myself and my sales director, just so we can answer any questions that you might have. And I try to do that within 24 to 48 hours because you can add so many women 
from your skincare parties right on the spot. You know, we are an instantaneous society now. You don't want to let these women go and have to play catch up. You're too busy for that anyway. And just finally, I always, um, you know, there is a script on the um, website on how to follow up with the referrals that you get. If she's only going to give you names and numbers, that would be totally fine. Um, and I would just say finally, I do take my product with me to parties. I give it to them on the spot. Um, it saves me time than running around like a crazy person. But if you would prefer to deliver it later, that's okay too. Whatever works best for you. Um, you don't want to look like a bag lady coming in. I a lot of times just leave it in my car. I get everybody's orders and I go out and I just fill it really quick. And then I bring it back in. And they absolutely love it. And I feel like it's one way to tie me to them to allow them to know that they can call me anytime for anything. I am literally their Mary Kay store. There's no need to go to Mac. There's no need to go to Sephora, Lancome, any of those things. I am it. So I hope that helped you ladies. This was training class two. Make sure that you call or text me so we can set up a time to go through this so you get credit. You did two, two more to, two more to go.